Ooh, today's title is very fitting. In a move that would send shockwaves, or could send shockwaves through the future of every Disney production, the VFX folks, the visual effects folks at Walt Disney Studios have taken an unprecedented stride towards unionizations. The stakes have escalated to where they've officially filed with the NLRB, the National Labor Relations Board, to hold an election for their unionization. Wow. Let's jump in. Here we go. So let's be clear here. This is a seismic shift in the world of visual effects. It's underlined by the fact that an impressive supermajority of over 80% of the in-house VFX crew members at Walt Disney Pictures have boldly signed authorization cards. They're declaring their firm intent to unionize, and that's a huge deal. In fact, it's worth noting that this is a monumental step, but it's far from an isolated event. In a historical and seemingly coordinated movement, this marks the second time that VFX professionals have united in their call for enhanced protections and rights. In fact, just a few weeks ago, if you remember, I did a story on the fact that VFX crews at Marvel Studios ignited the fuse by voting in favor of unionization with the process that is set to kick off on August 21st. The ballots are actually due there by September 11th, and the vote tally will ring in on September 12th. The reverberations of this decision cannot be underestimated. Mark Patch over at IATSE, he's the VFX organizer there, articulated the gravity of this movement and this, and this moment by saying, today, courageous visual effects workers at Walt Disney Pictures overcame the fear and silence that have kept our community from having a voice on the job for decades. Wow. Now, the call for change here resounds beyond the confines of one studio or a corporation. It echoes a collective yearning for VFX professionals to have the same kind of protections as many of their other industry professionals do through unionization. And Matt Loeb at IATSE, the president of IATSE, in fact, echoed this sentiment, highlighting the significance of this larger movement. The determination of the VFX workers, according to him, is not just commendable, it's groundbreaking. Their collective action against the status quo represents a seismic shift in this critical moment of our industry. Well, there you go, right from the union organizer's mouth. But the scope of the impact becomes more evident when one considers that VFX crews in question are responsible for crafting the awe-inspiring visual effects across Disney's iconic catalog. Not just, you know, the films such as Beauty and the Beast live action, or perhaps if you like the Aladdin live action, or even the Lion King live action. You also have the in-studio folks that are working inside of the volume, or obviously the stagecraft studios where real-time effects are employed to give actors a set to act against and to have real-time green screens or blue screens dropped in behind them to actually make it so more movie magic can happen in post-production. These folks are very important. And for decades, VFX workers have operated outside of the union umbrella. This is just not something that they'd been able to pull together before. And that traces all the way back to the dawn of the field during the production of, well, the groundbreaking Star Wars films. However, in a bold move for uh, recognition and, uh, well, some kind of equality with their, uh, their industry brethren, the unionizing workers are demanding fair compensation, uh, a structure that reflects the true value of their labor. Because without them, at least in modern day Disney and in other studios as well, we really wouldn't have much to pay attention to. They really do it all. And of course, they're looking for that fair pay for all of the hours that they're investing into this. They're looking for healthcare benefits. They're looking for retirement benefits. And they're looking for um, the same kind of rights that, again, all of their other unionized col colleagues uh, have through IOTSE. Now, of course, this clamor for change aligns with the growing chorus of voices across the whole VFX industry. All of them are seeking to change their working conditions and secure more rights or at least fair pay. The, the demands have gained added weight uh, from some findings that came back from a study done by IOTSE in 2022, where VFX worker rate and conditions 
were shown to be, well, incredibly lacking. As Monday's filing takes center stage, the anticipation mounts for the potential commencement of a labor board election in just the span of two or three weeks. That is incredibly quick. This is very adroit, it's swift action, and should the majority of these workers give their resounding nod, it should bring a pivotal shift set into motion for not just Disney, but probably the entire industry. The studio would be compelled to start negotiating in genuine negotiations for a change, and aiming to establish a collective agreement that encapsulates the aspirations and rights of this newly formed alliance. It seems Disney is at the center of many sunsets right now in terms of their ability to produce content cheaply and even, well, its control of the industry norms. They also are waking up to a new era of VFX industry dynamics, leaving the future of Disney productions hanging in the balance, so to speak. I would say Disney's in real trouble here. What would you say? Because we've reached that point in the video where I've completed my part, now it's time for yours. So down in the comment section below, let me know what you think about this new call for unionization in Disney's studios proper. Do you think that this is something that has been long lacking? Do you think this is something that will change the way we get content and the way we consume content? Do you think that Disney will now have to focus more on quality rather than quantity because they're going to have to be very careful and selective about the projects that they utilize these VFX workers for? I think all of those questions are worth asking. Hopefully you think they're worth answering. And with that, be sure to take care of yourself, take care of others, and until next time, see ya!